down to one minute of the pressure cooking. Soon we're going to do the natural release for five minutes and then the quick release, which will take, you know, a few more minutes, whatever that is. All right, let's move these sauces out of the way. I am gonna set the microwave timer for five minutes, okay? Normally, I let this timer go and that'll show me the five minutes, but I wanna bring this closer to the camera so you can see what's going on. So, let's see how far I can get this thing. Oh, maybe I can do it after all. So, this thing's going to hit five minutes, and unfortunately, you're going to have to wait for that five minutes. Um, but I think it's important that you know this step. Um, I also have uh, two videos on this that are condensed down. Those were not live. Those were uh, previously recorded. But for now, you are going to have to deal with five minutes of my humor and good looks. <laughs> So uh, while we're on the subject of different things here, I got uh, the sauces that I mentioned. I got the Sweet Baby Ray's Hickory Brown Sugar, which I definitely will do because that was a favorite last time. I don't think I'm going to do the Honey Chipotle. I don't think that kind of goes with ribs. Someone tell me different. And uh, that says one minute, by the way. It doesn't mean one minute left. It means that it's, uh, you know, cooling down. The keep warm button's on. I'd really like, want to turn that off, but as soon as I shut off the keep warm button, it will actually shut off the timer. But this will give you a visualization of how much more pain you have to deal with me talking. Anyway, honey barbecue sauce. As I mentioned, I do not have any regular Baby Ray's honey barbecue. Um, the hickory and brown sugar we already talked about. That was a favorite last time. And this new one I picked up, kick and bourbon. Uh, we'll have to see how it tastes. I have no idea how it's going to taste. That's why we've got this divided into four small slabs of ribs here. So if you have a favorite or you've seen some of my other ones that I've had, in fact, I could take them out of the fridge. They're not the uh, Sweet Baby Ray's sauces. Oh, well. I will take them out. Um, last time I did uh, a Sweet and Smoky, and the reason why I did that is because the rub that I used was Sweet and Smoky. So I got some Sweet and Smoky there. I've got some... Uh, Texas barbecue and I got Memphis now Memphis is mostly full because I didn't care for that one very much so it uh, not that it was bad it's just not my taste so let's get some light down on there so those are the uh, seven sauces I have on hand uh, maybe someday I'll even work to make my own sauce but uh, as it is right now that's what I got and that's what I'm sticking I have to decide on a side for tonight, too. It's either going to be uh, broccoli, corn, or both, or maybe a... Corn on the cob. Yeah, well, we have corn on the cob. That's another option, too. That just has to be reheated. It was cooked yesterday. Still got some of my rub here. I think I used a little too much when I did it, but that's okay. This is the grill made sweet and smoky. So when I take the ribs out, I'll sprinkle a little bit more on there, and then the sauces of my choice or your choice. At three minutes, four minutes, at the five minutes, we are going to start the uh, quick release. This was uh, five minutes of natural. 
Uh, in a perfect world, I might let it do a 10 minute natural, but uh, I think we're good with this. I'm also, now that I think of it, I'm gonna preheat this stove here because we gotta get that broiler going. As you can see, it's got several broil modes. We're gonna go with maxi broil. Um, Econo, I think it only turns on half of them. You can actually see a picture there, what it does, all of them, versus Econo only does the middle. And then there's a broil with a convection. And honestly, I don't think we need that. So let's go back to maxi broil and get this thing going. That's what I should have did first. And I had planned to do that as soon as I went live with the video, but it slipped my mind. Gonna get the little baby sauces up front where they can be seen. Hey, Kirby, how are you? Sweet baby Ray's honey barbecue, your favorite one. Uh, I, I think pretty much sure it is. Um, I can actually hear this hissing of the, the valve. It's not gonna release pressure now. Um, yeah, I, I, several people I know, it's tough in Ireland trying to get what you want. You know, I can't send stuff over there. I've tried and boy, is it trouble. Uh, so Kirby, uh, part one, I uh, started prepping the baby back ribs in this. Um, for the same price I got baby back for the last time, there were two slabs this time, and that's because it was the BJ's brand. That's all they have. They no longer have that uh, brand. Uh, I can't remember. It's like a... Ah, I can't remember. But uh, what I am going to do now is, this is at six, I am going to unplug the pressure cooker. So you can see better what's going on. Let's move these aside a bit. I'm going to turn this around. And here you can see the valve is up. That keeps us from taking this off. This is the pressure release. And they say to use the scoop that comes with this as a pressure release so you don't stick your hands over it. never really bothered me, but so you see you just... And the release. No jokes. Although I don't see David or Jack on here, so I don't expect too many jokes. <laughs> and once again, uh, Kirby is on. If you haven't uh, checked out Kirby's page yet, Kirby's Fishing Grill, click on the three dots next to his name, right click, go to channel, open in a new tab, or you can just visit him after the show. Ah, uh, David, I just made a comment. It's like, uh, and release. And then I looked over, I didn't see a car, and I said, okay, well, we know David and Jack aren't going to see <laughs> I mean, if I wanted to, I could uh, release this quicker. <laughs> it's spitting. I think I got some on my lens. One second. There we go. Oh, and a little catch basket that catches the fluid coming out. If I wanted to, I could hold this up, as I mentioned, and everything would come out faster and release faster. Now, based on a 30 minute cook time, I did uh, 18 when I had a single rack of baby backs cut in half. When I had the two St. Louis. I did those for 30 minutes, I believe, and uh, I did this for 30 minutes as well. That seems to be the general consensus with everybody. You know, I actually wish I had bought the 8-quart eight, eight Kirby because um, I said to myself, you know, I could get rid of my slow cooker, you know, my crock pot. But then Crystal was saying, no, this isn't as good as a, I, I believe it was Crystal said, this isn't as good as a, like a crock pot. But... If I got a, uh, I would have liked to have got maybe, let's say, a, maybe a small one or, or a two quart, one quart, two quart, or whatever the smallest one is. Maybe it's a three and then the eight quart. Uh, that way I could have uh, really retired that uh, pressure cooker. Um, it has a crock pot setting, so it's basically a slow, slow cooker. I have cooked meatballs in this in about four minutes. Um, the way it works is it takes like 10 minutes to build pressure, 
and it took exactly 10 minutes to build pressure for this, for the ribs. And then you cook it for four, and then you do a natural release, which takes 10, 15 minutes. So while it only takes four to cook it, you know, it's like uh, 20, 30 minutes in uh, pressure, cook, and release time. But, uh, you know, I like the traditional pot sauce or the, or the, uh, or the uh, slow cooker for the meatballs, that kind of thing. But you could certainly use it. That's, it's no different than a simmering pot, basically. Uh, the only thing I've cooked in the crock pot myself uh, would have been the sauce, meatballs, sauce with meatballs and sausage. Um, Donna has done beef stew and uh, cabbage stew of some sort, I can't remember. Um, what else? Can't remember what else. See, there's no more high pressure. It's not uh, spitting all over the place. And if I wanted to, I wouldn't want to stick my finger in there, but I could actually push down the pressure release valve and all the pressure would pop at once. This is a six quart. This is the Duo 60, D-U-O-60. If you want, uh, go to the description on this video and I should have uh, changed the, uh, the order, but you will see which crock pot on Amazon. This is actually on sale, I think today for like 60 bucks, uh, but check it out it might I don't know if it's a prime day thing or if it just happens to be on sale this goes on sale quite a bit like I said uh, go through my description you'll find a link um, for that there something just popped down I heard something all right so I think for sauces I'm gonna do the hickory and brown sugar that new kick and bourbon the honey barbecue and um, I don't know as, if I'm gonna do chipotle I don't think that's the right fit for this um, I'm trying to remember if I did chipotle last time okay I can hear that there's no more pressure we'll probably see that valve drop in a second if I don't do the chipotle I will probably do two of one of the other sauces Sometimes you gotta tap this too. Yep, there you go. It just sticks a little bit. So we're good. Let's turn this bad boy around. Oh yeah. I don't know if I've said this before, but I never used to do, know what to do with this lid. I was like, it was in the way, I didn't have a place. Then I was like, duh, read the book. <laughs> anyway, let me take it out of the way for good. Okay, so let's set these back for a minute. There is uh, so much liquid in there. I mean, this thing is half full with liquid now. Those things must have sweat big time. I have to uh, get this pan prepped here. Maxi broil. It doesn't say whether it's come to temperature yet. But let's get some uh, foil on these two pans because we are going to need two. My biggest concern right now is forgetting which one I put what sauce on. Although this isn't a rib sauce taste test. Um, I don't see why we can't base it on that. Tell you, that's the spices there, the rub. It smells pretty good. Granted, it's no homemade or, or competition rub or anything like that, but for a guy like me, for the average person just wants to kind of throw something on there and go. It's perfect. So, uh, all right. I'm going to need a couple of pairs of tongs. Last time I was lucky, and I did not destroy any of the ribs coming out. Let's see if I can manage that again. I'm trying to get this thing up higher so you can all see it. But I'm having trouble. I'm going to have to do something about the stick. Oh, and I saw your question, Tony, uh, but I apologize. I don't recall you being on one of the live chats before, uh, so welcome. If I just don't remember you being on the chat, I apologize, but welcome anyway. Okay. Yeah, those are already falling off the bone. I'm trying to think what side I want up. I'm gonna flip it. 
So the other side's gonna get barbecued first and then flip it. So actually I wanna do this side down, but you'll get a good look there, what this looks like right now. And let's move that out of the way and get the next tray. I really only wanted one rack of baby backs, you know, two half racks, but this is the way it was. See, this one didn't blow up as much. For whatever reason, whatever racks are in the middle, maybe that's what it is, the, the meat tends to blow up like a balloon. And this was the other rack. So this is part of the same rack, as you can see here. So I'll set that down. I'll flip this one again. They didn't fall apart, so that's a good thing. I know they're about to, but... Yeah, uh, I'm just uh, drawing a blank on the name, that's all. Again, apologies, but I'll remember next time. Okay. Picked up these brushes at uh, Walmart. I haven't even used them yet. I just washed them. 50 cents each. They were, uh, you know, on clearance. So, just so I don't cross-contaminate anything. So, first things first. Hickory and brown sugar. Oh, and I forget this every single time is I'm going to add a little more spices to the top. I'm not going to shake it on. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it on. I'm doing it to the other ones on the tray. I don't think you could see that. I really used a lot of this this time. All right. And hickory and brown sugar. And in actuality, this is going to be going in the stove this way. So rather than confuse myself, let's do that. Get a nice slather, make sure it gets all around, front, back, side. not ready to cook or be eaten I should say someone wants to get their fingers in the side <laughs> little more sauce uh, I mean a rub a little more sauce and I'm gonna keep this at the back of the stove so it'll be a representation of where it was in the stove but this will be on the left side in between the fingers there very nice okay now we're on to this ribs for that we are going to do the sweet baby rays honey barbecue hopefully there's enough in here actually i'm going to move the sauce over the oven's heating up the bottle this will make it a little, a little easier since i have a couple of these usually i rinse them in between to not contaminate the taste because Last time I did ribs, it was for taste, too. Taste test, I should say. Yeah, nice. All right. Okay. A little more sprinkles. A little more sauce. down all around in between the, the bones that my friends is one okay uh, I gotta figure out how to do this without making a mess I am now going to switch these around And see, I already forgot which one was which. I just did the front one. So the brown sugar was in the back, hickory and brown sugar, and then this was the regular honey barbecue. That's why I gotta be careful here. All right, 
So next, the sauce is here. We're going to use this new one, the kicking bourbon. Take off the top and make sure that little. See, this doesn't have a uh, a slow pour. Either that or it's stuck, like some of them get. There we go. I'm going to do one of these. Uh, someone just went. I have no food in the house. Oh. I don't know if this is really meant for this kind of thing here, but, you know, if you don't try, and me, I never try anything. So the fact that I'm trying this, delicious just some. Oh my god, this almost smells like a spicy wing sauce. So I will have to take that careful on that. Kicking bourbon. I guess that's why they call it kicking, right? Yeah, that 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 does have that sweet baby rays uh, hot wing sauce smell to it. I'll tell you that much. I don't know if this is a good idea. We'll soon find out. But I love that hot sauce, so maybe this will be a, a blessing in disguise, right? All right. So, folks, the question is, do I use the, ooh, that bottle got hot because of the vent. Should I use the uh, honey chipotle, yay or nay? That is the question. No one's saying yay or nay. Come on, there's, there's someone there who's never commented before. All right, I guess it's Honey Chipotle it is. I like the Honey Chipotle, so it's not like it's a big deal. But I know there's probably better choices. I mean, eventually when I start doing this, I'll settle down to do one or two sauces all the time. Oop, there we go. There we go. This doesn't uh, pour out as well. It's a little thick because it was in the fridge. The honey chipotle seems to be stay thick. Ooh, look at that. It fell right off the bone there just by me hitting the plastic edge against it. That, my friends, would be a good wing. Uh, good wing, listen to me. Good uh, slab. Oh, yeah. There we go. And a little more sprinkles. I'm not sure what that was in response to. I must have missed something. I'll have to read back the text, texts. I forgot who told me to get the honey chipotle originally, but I know one of the ladies were a big fan of it. I don't remember if it was uh, Janet or Mary Poppins. That I'm not 100% sure on. All right. So before we do this, I need to, again, keep these in a place, and I'll show you. I put the, the bottles in the order that they were, so the one that's in the back is for the, the ribs in the back. And the oven is on. Let's get these out of the way. Now, these we're going to cook. This is just to give it that bark. You know, as, as, as the term I've heard so many times before, you want it to almost look like a crust bark. And it's going to be about three to five, three to six minutes on each side. So three to six minutes, flip three to six minutes. So let's uh, get those in there. See if I can pop the oven over here, the camera over. I think when I experimented with the Breville, I tried three minutes and that was not enough. Uh, I had to do five or six, so I am going to set this for three minutes because it is the... Oh, this thing is giving me a hard time. There we go. Ah, that's bright. All right, the light's going off. Actually, it's not going off. Here, I want to show you how much liquid 
is in here. So you may not be able to see, but I would say it's a good quarter of an inch higher the liquid. And uh, I did not notice that there was a, a baby back in there. The poor thing, the poor orphan. So I will put this aside somewhere and eat it later without any type of sauce. So let me grab a plate out. Hey, get it. How are you? Kirby, Kirby this one is a perfect example of uh, having a, a nice serving tray to take a picture of this when it's done. As you mentioned yesterday. I think my soap dispenser is out in the sink. Alright, I think this is probably still too hot to lift. Oh, actually it's not bad. So I'm going to dump this out. pretty much it for this so I am now going to move this out of the way because we do not need it here. It is just taking up valuable real estate. I really have to adjust the sound it's because I have the light on here which now I can shut off because you're only looking at me. Um, I can already smell that in the stove it smells good. <laughs> Okay, I know I missed a couple of messages, so I'm going to go back here a little bit in time, make sure, see what I missed. Uh, chipotle, fine, I would cook, I wonder if I could cook them in a crock pot, if I didn't have a pressure cooker. Could you cook it in a crock pot? Um, you probably could, and people have cooked these in the air fryer as well. The difference with the air fryer when they cook them is they cut them into individual pieces first, and then uh, sauce, you know, rub and sauce them up, or they rub them. I can't remember the order. I have to think about that. Um, Real Show Barbecue. Uh, if you're curious about that, check it out. He does it with the air fryer. But uh, um, but I, I think he stood them up or something. So let's. Uh, that's three minutes gone by. I am going to take a quick one. You can see the smoke pouring out of the oven there. You see that? Let's see if the power gives you any more of a look. No, not really. All right, so let's look at what three minutes gives us. Yeah, it's, it's just about there for the caramelization. I am going to leave it in there maybe two more minutes. Those pans, they, uh, when they, they're not made, I don't think, for that uh, 500 degrees. They... Uh, they start to warp and they go pop and they warp and as they cool down they go pop again it scares the crap out of you both times that's one bright light and that's the low setting my new lights I have more versatility uh, where was I uh, I mean I'm gonna make sure I am uncomfortably old before I <laughs> thank you and Janet I believe yeah I said there it is you, you Caramelized goodness, yeah, and the bark, as they say. Here is uh, that piece that was there. I'm kind of afraid to taste it. And it tastes like just the rib with the, with the rub, no sauce. Don't care for it just for the rub. Well, you could tell that there's a lot of rub on there. <laughs> but that was also submerged in the bowl. So next time, instead of doing a cup and a half, a cup for a cup and a half, with four of those, I'll probably do one, in a, one to one and a quarter, unless it's just two, and then I can do a little bit more. All right, let's take a quick look. I am going to open the stove and let it vent out before I actually pull it out, so that I don't have a big steam pocket hitting my face in the camera, because it would be short-lived. So let us pull out the straw. Let us pull this out. 
and I am going to put it on the stove so you can get a really good look. Oh, that almost went places. Then I'll flip them and then put them back in. So here we got the uh, hickory brown sugar, honey barbecue, um, uh, blah, 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 kicking bourbon, and honey chipotle. So let's get these flipped over. I probably some, it seems like the more liquidy ones could actually use more time, but that's okay. This is what I want to make sure. I get it, and I'm actually probably going to flip them again. I probably did myself a disservice because when you take them out, you want to see the the bone there that kind of gives it to me that's the appeal of seeing the bone oh we got a big slap of of our sauce splash by the way so here we go see those let me turn off the lights see if it looks any better no it actually looks better on the uh tablet than it does on the back of the phone it's just the lighting well, let's go get those back in the oven I'm going to put those in there for at least four minutes, and then we'll go from there. Let's set the timer. All right, let's shut that off. A little too much light in my face. Uh, so, that being said, when I tasted that, now don't take that the wrong way, just the garlic, uh, sorry, the rub wasn't the flavor I was looking for that's just part of the flavor so but the the meat was just like phew, fall apart now Carby you were asking about the uh, crock pot that you were thinking about it a couple things mine has the, the, the this, there's uh, a few different bowl liners there's stainless steel, which is what I have, and it looks pretty the first day after that, it's all spotty. And then there's like a new ceramic one. And uh, I think there might even be a, uh, a coated pan, like a nonstick. Stay away from that. Get the stainless. Um, Crystal has both the stainless and she recently got the, uh, the ceramic, but I'm not sold yet on the ceramic. I wanna see how, it, how well it works out for her in the, in the future. Maybe I'll do more reviews up on it. Um, the other thing is, for this crock pot, I mean, sorry, this, uh, uh, it's hitting the air fryer, I don't have the swing room. For this right here, you can actually get, just get a glass cover for this, you know, like it looks like a, a saucepan cover, and it's meant to fit perfect, that's so when you use it as just a, to simmer something, you know. I gotta run Mario, have a great day. Mario, I'll try to get Hey, thank you, Curry, for stopping by, I appreciate it, always appreciate it. Again, everyone, uh, after this, go check out Kirby's page, if you haven't already. Subscribe, like, all that happy stuff. Um, we have about two minutes, and then we stop. All right, let's see how many. I always have this a little too high. I, I look at the fingerprint sensor as the camera. i just got to get that out of my head. Oh, by the way. Uh, if you haven't uh, watched my video for winning a couple of prizes, the 16-ounce crock pot and the car camera, car dash cam, you've got to get in it now because you've got to be subscribed for a certain amount of time. Go back a couple of weeks, you'll find the video. Or just search Mario Monty giveaway or something like that. Uh, the other thing is I put out a video last night. I just finished my final rendering and printout of my... Uh, phone holder for my car customized for this phone so check that out good now that I got that out yeah I, I tell you it's weird the bone side always looks more appealing to me the whole meat side that's what you want is the meat but just seeing the on the other side of the bones that's to me my mind has made up that's how it should look so I'm deciding which side I want to cut it from you know uh, let's see I, sh I, sh I kept saying to myself, I gotta break out my good camera. I gotta break out my good camera. And I didn't. I gotta get out of that slump. <laughs> Let's get this uh, piece of junk camera ready anyway. And I take a quick peek, and if it looks good, I will show you. 
I don't remember it smoking like this last time. That's a good sign. Oh my goodness, God. This is gonna be a, a, a slow motion thing. I gotta put it back in. I am gonna shut off the boiler though, because I think we're good. Blah, blah. All right. First, the smoke. Okay, no more smoke coming out. Look at this. Look at those two. Can you see those? How sick they look? In a good way, that is. Holy schmoly. Holy schmoly. You know, there's a way to take pictures while you're with this camera while you're on here. Um, ah, I don't have enough room. Let's see if I can get these up high enough. Sorry, folks. See the pan is twisting, it's cooling down and twisting. These two I've had before, the hickory brown sugar and the honey barbecue. I have not had the kicking bourbon on this side or the um, honey chipotle on ribs. I mean, the good, the chipotle is good, but I'll be curious to see what it tastes like on ribs because they definitely got a different color. If you look, these are a brighter red and these are darker red. So what I am going to do, and if you'll just bear with me for a moment, is I am going to put these two sauces there and I need to take my, my pictures that I take, see if I can't get this thing to brighten up a little bit. I need this thing to brighten up. There is no uh, magic with these uh, with these iPhones. It seems like they don't want to cooperate. Okay, that was one. I am now going to take a picture of this one and put the sauces in front the way they are. Now I'm going to take a picture of all four. It's a little too small to be all four picture, but... Okay, guys, if, if that... If this doesn't make you want to give them this video a thumbs up, just looking at the way these things are, I, I give up. <laughs> yeah, you know what? After this, uh, when we're talking about it, I, I meant to do get make make some coleslaw. And I'm bummed about that. Or even pick some up, you know, pick up uh, the mix. You know, it comes with all the different uh, veggies and then a uh, separate thing of sauce. and Not sauce, the, the mayo dressing there. Uh, let's see. I am going to get my beverage ready here. So bear with me one minute. I hope that uh, you can see those. Lovely, lovely books. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, that's funny. <laughs> uh, you know, I should probably, um, Take pictures of each one uh, individually. What did the can the light turn off automatically when it? Uh... Oh my god! Okay, here we go. Now, there's a few knives I could use for this. I'm going to use this one because this has been my favorite knife ever since I sharpened it. And uh, the key is to look for the bone and cut in between it, but they're upside down, so it's kind of hard for me to... This is where I would need, uh, like, a barbecue glove. So if any sponsors are listening, <laughs> send me a barbecue glove. Uh, See, I'm not cutting it in the right place. If I turn it over, I'll have better luck, I'm sure. I licked my fingers by accident. Ribs almost near you look awesome. Yeah, these are... Uh, 
I want to say brighter red, but I don't know if that's the word I want to use. But in any case. Yeah. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, geez, geez Louise, as my buddy would say. I'm ruining things. I'm trying to cut them. That's what's happening here. I think I gave up on cutting. <laughs> they look beautiful until I touched them. Um, I think what I got to do to cut the back rows is turn this whole thing around. Uh, of course, I would knock. I'm going to have to look back in the video. Someone remembers. I can't remember. Uh, the, the sauces got mixed up in the back. So I cannot remember if those are... Um, uh, the one in the original back, like this was the back, if that was uh, the kicking. I think the I think this is the Chipotle, to be honest. All right, I'm having better luck cutting this one because I'm paying more attention. Oh, scratch that. Turn this around once more so I remember what's what. I think, the, like I said, the Chipotle is the front one because that's what I... Uh, had decided on before the other. All right, let's look at this one as I cut it up, see if I can't do a better job here. Yeah, I guess that would help too, right? But I, I, but I really wanted uh, someone to sponsor me and say, Mario, you hit some barbecue gloves. Well, Mario, <laughs> it's a crock pot. <laughs> oh, I had just destroyed that. Because I can't see those. Oh my god, the bones just fell out. Of, just pulled right out of there. Alright, folks. Someone needs to come over here and slap me. The, bon the bones are at a, an angle here on this one. I just couldn't tell. Alright, there's the bones. These are a slight angle too. These did look beautiful, folks. But I promise they're still going to taste awesome. Donna just came in the room. Which you now call it. Uh, get your fingers out of there. No, you can't have anything right now. I got to take pictures. What little piece? Which one? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess. Ah, oh, see, I got you on camera doing it. <laughs> Take a couple more pictures here. Now, I think what I have to do here, folks, is I got to try one of the ones I haven't tried before, because if I don't, what's going to end up happening is um, all those different tastes, it's going to make it hard to distinguish, because I'll have so many different tastes on my tongue. So uh, let us try the newcomer, Kickin' Barbecue. And this has my name written all over it. And I want you to, I know you don't want to see my face, but let's turn this light off. Whew. I want you to see my expression just so I can't fake. Oh, look at this. It just fell right off. bourbon doesn't have as much taste as I thought. Go ahead, you can take that. Can I have a plate? Go ahead. It's good, don't get me wrong. Um, all this. So, it goes in this order. This is this, this is this, this is this, and this is this. Which one did I like? You like the, the brown sugar ones in the back. So, it tastes good. But it's not a strong flavor. But to be fair, I will try another one. <clears throat> Again, we will try another kicking bourbon. Far off 
chocolate bone. This one has more sauce on it. And now I can taste it a little bit more. This is like a, this is a hot sauce that's sweet. That's the best way I can describe it though. This kicking bourbon stuff. It has the taste of the hot sauce with a little heat, but more of a Last time I made uh, two huge slabs like this, I only used two different sauces, and I brought two of them to a barbecue, two of the halves. Okay, next one is the honey chipotle, and this one has my name written all over it. it fell apart. That should be the next one you try. Oh, it is. How'd you like it? I like it. It's falling right, falling right off the bone. Again, this is the um, honey chipotle. Donnie, thank you. <clears throat> I appreciate it. I know you're uh, you're at about 11 o'clock, 11.30 over there, so I appreciate you sticking around. Oh, no, it's two pieces. Honey chipotle good. The honey chipotle has a stronger flavor than the uh, chicken bourbon. They're both good, but because the honey chipotle has more flavor, I'm going to one-up it on the uh, chicken bourbon. Did I like this one? You like honey chipotle, but you've had it on wings, so. For the record, Donna comes from a long line of people who don't like bones in their food, and she's eating ribs. Mm -hmm. All right. Next one, <clears throat> I am going to do the Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Barbecue Sauce, and this one has my name all over it. Oh my god, this is just... You know, I've done this video before, and uh, but there's something to say about doing it live. Just uh, the expression, my expression. This rib tastes a little different, not just because of the mm -hmm. sauce. This was from a different slab. This is the one that puffed up like a blowfish. That's good too. Less taste to it, but it's still good. Let's try another one of these. Excuse me. Sometimes the end piece is more bark. So I have a milk piece. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Part of it too is I have now like three different sauces in my mouth. And uh, it's getting harder and harder, you know, you gotta cleanse the towel from home. To be honest with you right now, Janet. 
Chipotle is taking the show right now. And I think it's solely because it was the better cut of meat. Because remember, the one I just had with the honey barbecue and the hickory, the meat blew up. It was taller. And that was the meat that was on the inside. So that's twice now. So knowing this information, if I do this again, I'm going to try to just do a slab. Because the slab's fine for both. Excuse me, it's good enough for both of us. But I think that's the effect it has. Okay. Stick it a little bit to the foil. Let me get that off. Oh, yeah, came off all right. I tell you, my hickory and brown sugar, that's a good sauce. It broke all apart. Yeah, I want to do definitely coleslaw. Definitely corn on the cob. I got the corn on the cob in the fridge, so I'll do that later. After this, definitely can use some coleslaw though. Oh, now they'll fall off the bone. I didn't like that last one. Which one? The last one. Which one was the last one? The, the one in the front here? Yeah. No, the back. The back one? That was the chicken burger. Yeah, so it's like, like I said, it's like a wing sauce. Oh. It's falling apart on me. This is a shocker. <clears throat> I can't tell how dirty my mouth is. Dirty enough. I gotta say, the honey chipotles. I almost want to say it's the best one of the bunch. With the uh, ribs. That part of the rib was fatty. I'm not leaving that out, but I want you to know. Ooh. Yeah, it's a fatty rib. That's still good. Find it back again. I'm going back for another uh, honey chipotle here. <laughs> Look at that! I still better get a dinner for Natalia, so. Unbelievable. Okay, here are my thoughts. Next time to do a fear test, I want to uh, do one bigger rack and cut it into fours if I want to do more than two sauces. By putting in that second rack on the inside, they blew up like a, a blowfish. I don't know if it was because it was uh, in more contact with the uh, juice that was in there, the apple juice and the apple cider. I'm not 100% on that. I'm not a professional barbecue. So maybe someone has some info for that. 
the honey chipotle it was pretty pretty freaking good um, and I like the hickory brown sugar last time too uh, but there's more center rib there so I'm gonna keep eating of course but let me give you a look at what's gone this was the kicking bourbon which Donna didn't care much for she had a couple of servings of those and some of these so that was two racks of baby back ribs that we just had there. Let me see who's on. All right. <clears throat> Make sure I didn't miss any comments. Uh, all right. So, what's everyone's thoughts right now? There's some. There's some uh, people on who have never. Uh, said anything on chat before. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are. That's awesome, delicious. Keeps falling off the bone. Shredding a pot. I'm having a lot falling right off. All right. I think I tortured you all enough. Can't eat two bites without it all being all over me. Last time I made it, I didn't have the beard, I had shaved it. So, anyway. <clears throat> so, let me go through the list. Thanking people for, sh for coming on the live. We got uh, Kirby, Doolin, uh, Tony, David D, uh, <clears throat> Tony, uh, I promise I'll remember you next time. Uh, who else we got here? Janet, of course. And I saw someone else on here, but I must have just scrolled past the name. But thank you all for joining me. Uh, if you like this video, and you, there's still a bunch of you on, so must like something about it, uh, please give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot. Um, consider subscribing if you're not a subscriber. Uh, although I think many of you are subscribers now that have been coming on, but I noticed there's one or two more people every time uh, <clears throat> in the comments when the video goes live. Not when the video goes live, when it gets reposted. So thank you. Subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know. And if anybody wants to comment, I set up this to schedule ahead of time so I don't know if it alerted you that I was going live in 10 minutes. So if someone could comment on that, that would be helpful. Thank you, Janet. <clears throat> Very saucy. Saucy. Uh, saucy. Uh, so I'd be curious to see if you got notification that I was going live in like a half an hour or 20 minutes. I think it was in that case. I'd be grateful. So again, thank you very much. I love the suggestions. People have been suggesting these sauces, so please keep them coming. Whether it's a sauce, a suggestion. I got um, uh, David and... Uh, uh, Greg, not Greg, I'm sorry, Greg, I apologize, your name is so big. Uh, he made some suggestions, so I'm working on that. I got a couple on the pint line. I still got the meatloaf coming. I got to pick up the ingredients still. I haven't done that. Uh, <clears throat> no. I know I asked a question, so you didn't get notification. I assume that's about. Um, so thank you all again very much. Uh, suggestions, please throw them in the video after the fact or anytime. Shoot me an email or go to my Facebook page. That's another thing. Uh, subscribe to my Facebook, new Facebook page, Mario's Domain. The links are in the description. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, etc. etc. And uh, no, I never get any notice. Uh, do you have the notification bell set up, Janet? That's the only other thing I could suggest is go back and make sure that the bell is highlighted. I know uh, YouTube is doing its new thing where 
they don't always suggest even though you tell them to notify you and it's been happening to me to some of my subscribe to the people I subscribe to so it doesn't doesn't uh, just surprise me uh, <clears throat> maybe uncheck the bell recheck it a few hundred more times <laughs> maybe that will but again thank you everyone and we'll see you on the next one and the crock pot was or the pressure cooker was unplugged See ya, Dave.